Hello friends, welcome to the SYBSC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is to generate a triangular wave on 8051 microcontroller using key software. Let us see the program required to generate this triangular wave. Here is the program that we require to generate a triangular wave. We can use here any port, any general purpose port of microcontroller 8051. Uh, to start with, the program starts with the library package that is rpg51.h. Then we require a main function which is a requirement of every embedded system. We have taken one port that is port number 1 and we have initialized its value to the 0. Then in continuous loop, we are asking this port to increase by the value 5 every time until it becomes high. So this is like a ramp signal. It will start from value 0, 0 and after every 5 values, it will increment and it will go up to the highest value. When it goes to the highest value, it will stop and it will come to this loop. So the second loop is again this port value will get minus by the 5 every time. So since it has reached the maximum value, now by doing this minus value uh, by 5 after every time, somewhere it will become a 0. So that means again a negative ramp. So we want a triangular wave which will be going high and coming to the low. So going high and going low. Uh, in this loop we simulate it as a triangular wave so here is the id key id that we apply when we are going to write a program rate and this is the triangular wave that we can generate in a key software itself so how to do it let me explain this with the help of key software So type here key for key software, click on open, we get this ID, close everything that is opened now. To create a new project, click on project, new micro region project. Now here we can select the project folder where you want to save your project. So this is triangular giving some relevant name this is user defined name type here 889c51 that is the microcontroller we are going to use click here no because we are not going to use a startup code now here in this source code we have to add a new file so click on this new file or by clicking on file clicking on new you can add here the new file initially it is a text file here you can write your code so the code that I've just explained, I'll copy this code and we'll paste it here. So you see the code that P1 port is initialized with the value 0 and every time it is being incremented until it becomes maximum. After it becomes maximum, we are decrementing it by the value 5 until it becomes the minimum that is 0. And this will go in a loop for a in a while one loop which is a continuous loop so until there is external force to stop the program this program will go on so to save this program we have to click on this and here we can save this program so i'll navigate to my folder first to save this so here i want my program to have same name as my project it is not necessary to use the same name as your project, just be relevant while naming it. Click on save and you see that our program has got saved in .c file. So we have to add this program to the source group. To do that, just right click on it, click add existing files. Search here for your C file that we have just stored. Now this is your C file. Click on add, click on close. Now the next step is click right click on target. Then 
open the Starbit options. Under the Starbit tab, say this happens here, C 11.0.92 megahertz. The output, for the output, you have to create this hex file to as an executable file. So check this, click OK. Now you can build your project by clicking on this build menu or by, click, by clicking on target and click on build target. So when you click on build target, it creates the hex file with zero warnings and zero errors. Now the next step is click on debug start stop mode. Here it will ask you for the memory limit. Just click OK. Now here you have to check the output on logic analyzer. So click on the logic analyzer. You can scan it so that you can see the output properly. So you can drag this window this way. Then the next is we have to set up uh, the port. So we have used P1 port for this output. So you can create your new even port just right here and click enter here you can choose any color in that color you would like to get the triangle of view then close this now setup is done simply click on run so this is how the triangle of view can be generated you can click here uh, like zoom in or zoom out so that way you can manipulate this triangle of view for visualization purpose. So this is how the triangular wave can be created. To stop this, click on debug stop the debug session. This will take you back to your original program. Thank you for watching this program.